Look, I've been in the solar industry for 20 years. Yeah. The volume that the Chinese are now producing mm. allows them to sell a solar panel the size of this desk yeah. for $120. Yeah. If I get a whiteboard this size in Office Works, yeah. it's $200. Yeah. There's no technology in the whiteboard and it's got two year warranty. Mm. There's a lot of technology in the solar panel that's got 25 year warranty and it's still cheaper than the whiteboard. Yes. And that's simply because of the volume they generate. Yes. Okay. So my belief is yes. Ironically, there would possibly be no solar industry as it is now without Australia and our research in the early days where actually we have built mm. a lot of the knowledge in yeah. the solar panels out of the New, uh, New South Wales uh, University, New University. South Wales. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Martin Green, yeah. all those, uh, the people in the team, the early SunTech founder. But the truth is right now, I would argue that that horse has bolted. Now, I want I want That's us true. to win. Yeah. But But it's like... What did I compare it with? You know, you've got those big coal carriers that come to Newcastle yes, to build it up. I grew up in Newcastle. And then you turn up with a canoe yeah. and go, can I have a bit of coal? Yeah. That's us trying to catch up. A billion dollars, what we're saying we're building an industry up with, Yeah. that's what they spend on expansion every six months. Mm. So, look, I don't want to be a defeatist thing, but mm. I think people who watch this got to have a reality check mm. of what we can do. And then we got the tyranny of distance behind it. So when big companies like LG pack in and say we can't compete with the Chinese in solar and they had a decent brand, they had a decent market, it's going to be very hard. Now, I wanted to win, but I find it hard. And I would say the batteries, because the, even the Chinese product wasn't as developed, it was a better opportunity because we got the lithium here. Yes. Um, and, I, and I still wait for something to be done and waited so that we get local advantages. But in some way, again, I believe when I look at some of the products that are coming out with uh, the uh, vehicle to grid chargers in build, the modular designs, it's all Chinese and it's bloody good. Mm. Yeah. And I think we actually can't wait for Australia to develop a solar or battery manufacturing to the scale that we need before we transition to get off coal and gas. So we have to walk before we can run. And what part of that is to get that uptake, that storage, that firming, so that we don't have these crises when the coal-fired power plants go down. We don't, you know, we've got the New South Wales Premier Mins is, has offered up to $450 million to prop up the Araring coal-fired power plant because there wasn't enough storage capacity on the grid. So we've, we've got to fix things quickly, um, but there are deeper issues, of course, that we need to address but we also need to address that grid stability and the cost of living crisis as well. So bringing down the energy prices for as many people as possible, which is why they've made the batteries VPP enabled to be able to share that energy on the grid so that we can bring down the prices for people like sole renters who are locked out. I uh, mean, I, I don't think it's every, there's no silver bullet to fix all the issues. I, I just don't think we have politicians who've got balls, I'm sorry to say. Yeah. Because, you know, again, the VPP enabled stuff. We right now need these batteries to be VPP enabled. And the battery rebate should have said it has to be VPP enabled. I don't really like to have it, it somebody does say else. That. No, 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 no. Actually, sorry, I was wrong. It should have said it has to be VPP connected. Oh, yeah. The point is, look, I personally are against the government regulating that it has to be VPP connected. I don't want that. But if you look at what the needs are of the grid, yeah. it, 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 it's it's gone beyond us thinking, oh, well, maybe I do it, maybe I don't. Um, you know where we really started? Solar started to take off 2006, 2007. First for environmental reason, people bought it. Then it was always financial. Yes. Uh, the, the, the people that are members in your group, yes. there must be some who did it just for financial. Oh, about 80%. That's right. And and so, but but the fact is now we're coming to a point where when the coal is pulled out, the hole is too big to be filled without getting battery up quickly. Mm. But why is that? Because the people in charge of energy, I don't know if it's the energy retailer or the distributors or the generators, but solar was growing exponentially for the last 20 years. And we know it's got to go somewhere if it doesn't get used. And we did not create the vessels and the batteries to cope with it. And you know why? 
because energy has been the bunny of political backfighting. So if people think they've done us a favor, have having shit fights over energy for the last 15 years, and Labor goes two steps this way, and the coalition goes one step that way, and that is the reason why your energy is so expensive now, because no nobody in industry had the confidence to actually invest in something where you do not know if, if it's Arthur or Martha. And the two sides were never in the middle to find a solution. Would you agree with that? A hundred percent, Marcus. 